We know from the documents that in the early 17th century, thousands of painters went to Rome and they lived all in the same areas, so they knew each other. And approximately one third came from France and the Netherlands. People knew that they would meet colleagues in Rome, that the, uh, there were many opportunities. And there was the other great advantage that there were many people who loved the arts, so great collectors who were interested in stimulating painters, who commissioned paintings, who even hosted them in their houses. I try to show with this exhibition that there's not just one Caravaggio. He, he served up to the new generations uh, many novelties, not just one. And uh, this also has, has to do with his incredible versatility as a painter. He changes his style, he re reinvents himself uh, every year, every six months. So uh, he had so much to offer to the new, new generations. These northerners, they too came to Rome at the age of around 20, like Caravaggio. They too were ambitious, they too were innovators, they too were driven by great passion to become famous and original painters themselves. So it's a very interesting dialogue between the many things Caravaggio had to offer and the many new ambitions they tried to realize. Then the northern painters who came to Rome, uh, first of all I'm interested in the question uh, what made looking at Caravaggio's paintings such an intense experience? So what does it do with you when you are looking at Caravaggio's great masterworks? These uh, young boys are fleshy, you can uh, almost touch them, the tears are glistering in their eyes. So they are very close to us and the Caravaggio has this great ability uh, of course, using uh, life models to bring scenes very close to you, to connect with you, to connect with the viewer. Seizing a particular moment, uh, to, to, to grasp this very instant in which uh, something happens, he manages to elicit, to convey a sense of wonder, if you look at the picture, uh, what's happening here?